This time I'm going to start a team match. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to start a team match. Uh, so we're going competitive and we're going to click team match and we're going to create a team match. You can see here there are team matches being started and people can just dump into these seats. But most of the time you'll want to create your own match. So you'll put in a title. Uh, this helps if you uh, want to find the results later and the team. So I'm often doing intercity league matches. So I'll be doing things like uh, Edinburgh against Warsaw. Options. Now, how many boards do you want it to be? Well, often 16 or 24. Be careful when you're editing this field that you don't get a three left at the start, which is another bug of BBO. Uh, point, we normally play cross imps or imps. Uh, we allow kibitzers. Uh, depending on the type of match, uh, we occasionally do not allow kibitzers to chat with the players. So they can't talk to the table and they can't influence. So that's normally a good thing to set. Uh, Barometer scoring, do you show the score as you go along? I, I don't like that. I like the score to be done. Zero, see no scores until the end of the match, depending on how friendly the event is. I normally allow undos for misclicks. You normally use say, random deals. But if you want to use save deals, either it's a specific match you want to play, you're playing boards, then you click use save deals and you'll use a set of hands that you've chosen before and you will have uploaded them and then you reserve the seats. So for Edinburgh, our match has typically been me, my brother, Ronan and Liam. And then the other captain gives me his team. Then when I have all the eight people identified and they are all online, you press create team match. If the people are not online, and if I put some random squiggles in here, uh, then we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I doubt that these people exist. Create team match. And it says Liam is not online. And it will do that. But even if everybody's online, when you create the team match, do not close this window until the match starts. And the key reason for that is you don't want to have to retype all this information in. If everybody is online, occasionally someone will inadvertently reject the invitation that they receive to play in the match. And you'll have to look to restart it. So leave this window open until the match starts and then you can close it and you all get whisked to play the match and you'll be have a good time. Thank you.